Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the latest beta release from the GNOME project. Yes, GNOME 48. Beta is officially out for public testing and it's packed with some exciting new features and improvements. So let's get right into it. First off, the GNOME 48 beta now comes with Advaita fonts and a brand new default wallpaper that really freshens up your desktop. But that's not all. There's improved screen time limit support a new GNOME display control utility for better display management, and even support for configuring HDR via the Display Config Dbus API. Plus, it updates cursors in virtual monitors and lets you track your screen time history without any preset limits. Pretty cool, right? Moving on to GNOME Control Center, or as many of us call it, settings. Uh, in this beta, the search bar now automatically grabs focus when you use shortcuts, which is super handy. They've also added a single panel mode so that you can launch settings without that extra sidebar clutter. Ideal for some of the newer distros. And get this, there are new monitor HDR settings in the display panel, fresh media key shortcuts for restart and logout in the keyboard panel, and even a brand new well-being panel for tracking your screen time. There's more good stuff across the board. GDM, the G-N-O-M-E display manager, no longer needs X Wayland in a Wayland only setup and now sports new banner message path and source settings. Over in other GNOME apps, Calculator now features a conversion mode, while GNOME Calendar lets you pick time zones for event start and end times and shows improved weather info in the month view. In GNOME Maps, the user location marker got a complete redesign using your system's accent color. Plus, there's enhanced rendering for route markers and transit itineraries. No music now supports high DPI covers. So your album art looks amazing on high-res displays. And uh, GNOME Remote Desktop now supports zero-copy rendering with Vulkan and VRP. And then we have some neat tweaks across the system. GNOME software now lets you install Flatpak apps via a Flatpak plus HTTPS link. GNOME Text Editor has shifted its search bar to the bottom of the text area. XDG Desktop Portal GNOME now includes a USB portal backend. And the Loop Image Viewer supports edge drag selection and handy keyboard shortcuts for editing operations. Last but definitely not least, GNOME 48 Beta introduces Papers as the new default document viewer. Replacing events, Papers lets you view, search, and annotate documents in a ton of formats like PDF, PS, EPS, XPS, DJVU, TIFF, and even comic book archives. If you work with a lot of documents, this is going to be a game changer. If you're excited to try it out, remember that the final release is slated for March 19th, 2025. Until then, Keep an eye out for the release candidate milestones, which should hit public testing in early March. For all the nitty gritty details, check out the release announcement page and the full change log. That's all for today's update on GNOME 48 Beta. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you won't miss any future updates on GNOME and Linux. Thanks for watching.